Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osric501, and today I'm going to be back in Atlas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to go about taming animals. Now, I've already done a video on how to tame different animals, but there is a new way that a lot of people in my company have been doing that lets you tame animals in a much easier manner. So, basically, what you're going to be doing... Now, this is going to take a bit longer... Because you're going to be tranking the animals and then putting them in your taming pen. Now, tranking is a lot different in this game because there's not much stuff that does it. There's no trank arrows. There's no way to keep um, animals tranked or anything like that. But what you're going to do, you're going to have to get certain skills for this. And you're going to go in your skill tree. Now, you're going to have to have the melee weaponry skill tree. So you're going to have to be decent level because you're also going to have to get your beast mastery to whatever taming for the animal that you want to tame and then whatever else you want and the best way to unlock the weaponry is you're going to go in the survivalism the bur the very first skill tree you're going to go down to um hand-to-hand -hand combat you're going to unlock that then you're going to go to hand-to-hand -to -hand. you're going to go to the left side right here and then you're going to unlock weaponry now in weaponry you're going to be taking the two-handed stuff. Now, you have to go really far down the tree, and you can just go all the way down and click what we're taking, which is target, soft, spots, feet. And if you have enough points, you can just unlock this, and it will unlock everything you need to get down to here. So you're going to need a lot of points. Um, I'm able to get a good amount of stuff with that, and so I have points left over, and I'm over 46. But what that does, let's go back to it. So, what this does, when activated for a short duration, strikes with two-handed weapons deal greatly increased torpor. And, as you can see, I have a two-handed pike out, so it can be anything. It can be the two-handed mace, it can be the pike, it can be any two-handed melee weapon. Let's see if this bull is not super high level. Okay, that's an alpha. We're not, we're not going to do it on that because I don't have armor on. I just want to do it on something that I can actually test on without dying. Because I just ran and grabbed some stuff. Okay, so there's a sheep here, right? So if I pull this two handed pike out, you see my F7, which is the ability we are looking at, um, is activated. If I don't have a two handed weapon out, it's it's bla it's redded out, so you can't use it. So basically, what you do, you pull out your two handed weapon. You are also going to want a tool for this. I use a pick, just a normal pick, any weapon, like any one handed weapon that hits really fast. So um, harvesting tools are really good for that. So what you're going to do, you're going to pull your tuna weapon, you're going to activate your ability, you're going to pull out your tool, and then you're going to melee stuff. And as you can see, it's you're hitting super fast, and the torpor amounts that you sh would normally do with a two-handed weapon are now being done with the pick while your um, ability is active. And you could almost have this up 100% of the time, because I think it's, there's like a second in between where your abilities on a cooldown and the torpor like the actual effect of it is falling off so you basically have like a second or two um but then you just switch your two and a weapon activate again and start picking stuff again and as you can see out of 25 sheep it went down super quickly like you can do this with wolves and stuff like high level high level um tigers and lions that's what we're taming with it um you can do it on alphas if you can survive their hits. If you have multiple people, you can just trank alphas, um, then kill them super easily without much of an issue. And this is what you do. So you can pick up the tranked animals and you can carry them. And basically what you would do when carrying them, you just carry them. I don't need to carry this because I can't actually tame that. But you would carry them. And then you would bring them over to these taming pens, which in my taming pen video, this is what I showed you guys how to make. You'd have the door open and you just place it inside here. Now they do kind of tend to try to like um, slide out. So like place it at the corner and then close the door. And then it's set in there. Now you have to wait till it wakes up before you get it low and then bola it. But it's still much easier than either like kiting a aggressive animal into um one of these pens or just bowling something where it is and then placing that like really ghetto just basic trying to keep it in like 
taming pen basically just around the animal with fence foundations so it's much easier to do it this way i'm going to show you guys some footage of me also doing it with a tiger which is like a high level 25 tiger um that i did it on before and we're doing this with all of our like everything we're taming now we just we just trank them and then you can carry them wherever you want so that's pretty much the end of the video there's going to be some more footage at the end that shows you guys um me doing it to the tiger now the stuff will start to run away also if it's aggressive animals if you get them to a certain torpor point you can't see that but if you get them to a certain torpor point they will start running from you so you might have to catch them or if you have multiple people it's much easier i'll just try it on this alpha bull real quick and it's probably gonna one shot me but we can try so as you can see yes it does one shot me i didn't have armor on i just had the two things i needed but basically um with like with this you can see it's like it's basically doubling the torpor because you're hitting so fast it's like hitting the amounts are like stacking on top of each other so it's super it's super good for trying everything go out and try this um it might be nerfed i'm sure the devs already know about this because i'm sure we're not the only people actually utilizing this right now it's much easier than just you know bowling stuff where it is you can just trank it and run it wherever you want but anyways go out and try this there's going to be a little footage at the end of me doing it on the wolf but subscribe if you want to see more atlas content leave a like if you like the video leave a comment down below what you think about atlas as a whole what you think about this new taming method and thanks for watching Come uh on. -huh.